بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم So today we are going to explain what is inverted index Before we starting our presentation Let me introduce my group member uh, My group member is Muhammad Ramid Ansari and Shawal Yagbari This is the group assignment uh, Section 2 uh, What is inverted index? Inverted index It is well known fact that you need to build indexes to implement efficiencies what is the difference between inverted index invert in, but what is the difference between in index and inverted index how to build index how does facebook graph search engine use it does google search also use inverted index in simple words it is hash map like the type structure that directs you from a word to a document or a web page let's look at the problem from another direction you have billions of documents or you have millions of documents or web pages or images anything that we may need to retrieve later to add more to your initiation about indexing and retrieving information using it i will remind you that you have seen inverted index earlier this is an example from some random textbook if you need someone or sorry if you need some information about some topic say activation energies you will open up the index and find out if that word the inverted index will tell you the page numbers where that word is explained in the big in a big bulk of a thousand pages you will see if you were the perform of a legal line of search you will take hours to read that page but now it is hardly a matter of seconds the inverted index, the key that I try in learning modern information retrieval. For each term word, we might store a list of all documents that contain term. In the file, document by document ID, a document serial number, uh, like we have uh, Hafiz, example, Shakespeare, Ahmad, Mahmoud, whatever. Whenever you read the book, you will find the book many times the name of Shakespeare or the name of office. Okay, this is the pointer. This is the pointer. This is the document, and this is the pointing to the uh, uh, how many times it appeared in the the book. Uh, okay, we need variable size posting lists or in inverted files. On this, uh, to continue with run of postings is normal and based. In memory, can use linked lists or rival link arrays. Uh, some trait of in size is of insertion. Uh, like in, uh, assume a linked list, uh, assume a set of documents. Each document is assigned a list of keywords or attributes with optional relevance or right associated with each keyword or attributes. Okay, it's like link list. Uh, this is the document is pointing to the posting in the dictionary and postings. Okay, now inverted in the document to the bin text. This is the PDF file and tokenizer tokenizing the doc this tokenizing linguistic models model of documents okay indexer is the document pointing to them how many times it appear in the book or in the document let's example of index steps tokenizing we have to document document one and document two um, for example, in document one, someone is a clever student in IIUM. He's my best friend. Okay, see here. This is the document one until here. 
we have document two some so we are studying together being also my best friend is my core member and the is okay this all from here till here document two okay next step sort let's have we are sorting sorting from a to z or z to a we uh, sort from an uh, ascending order like uh, let us all is uh, start from a and the side okay the sorting point okay dictionary and postings mm, this is very important okay now let's explain for you like we have uh, the term on doc id okay uh, let us also also is in one time appear in document two okay and uh, is 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 five times appear in document one and document two okay is is uh, one two three time in document two and two time in document one it's appear okay this is the where do we paint sort information travel system implementation how do we index and efficiently how much storage do we need okay the pointers is of the ID okay what does a regular index look like of course just opposite of it what does a regular index index look like just opposite of it it maps page number to the topics and you can easily say that they are not so useful in the area of search and information extraction maybe they have good luck somewhere else in the case of facebook search they are used in ranking scoring purposes so that you get the most relevant results higher How to build inverted index? That was this was crucial to understand how how to build inverted index. This is, as I explained before the practice, and now I explain how we can build it. Building an inverted index for maintaining any kind of searching system requires you to perform a series of steps while parsing parsing the page or document. Let's have walk through while constructing our own search engine. Okay. Okay. I want to create a search engine for all the documents in my computer. Okay. I know what I I search, so I will run a program which I will go through the whole tree in my hard disk and collect the pages I want. I know that mp3 files and gpgs are of no use to me. I will not use it. I don't I don't want to use. I will ask my program to retrieve. Okay? I will ask my program to retrieve the text, doc and pdf files. So, once I get the document, I proceed to the next step okay fetching fetching the document the job is really simple if i get a text file but if it was a doc or a pdf i will need to parse them using some libraries to retrieve their text let us say i'm successful in reading text what text okay removing the stop word Removing the stop words. Consider the last program. Okay, what were the important words we may be looking for? Text. Okay. Text or libraries. Dog. Retrieve. Successful. But most of the other words are just a waste. We we. Do you know? We denote the most occurring words 
as Star Wars as Star Wars and remove them so that I don't get indexes for words like I like I then we as an step to the road word then comes stemming now whenever I want to search for a retrieval I want to see a document that had information about it but the word present in the document is called retrieve instead of retrieval to relate that both words I chose some part of each and every word I read so that I could get the root word retrieve may become retrieve so I will retrieve we have to be sure about the rules we use to chop the words. There are standard tools for performing this like Parter Stemmer. Parter Stemmer you can find online. Okay. And the fourth is uh, record document IDs. Record document ID. Now get ready for my task indexing. Every document I have has got a unique document ID as I encounter as I encounter a nice store word that is stamped. Now I now I wanna save it my memory in the form. Okay. Like the trave document ID two zero eight zero zero nine. If I get same word in some other document, I may write retrieve doc ID two zero eight zero zero nine retrieve doc ID three four five zero zero two. But if very soon I have to combine them in the single list, retrieve doc ID two zero eight zero zero nine. Doc ID 345002. I can further improve by writing how many times did the word occur in document so that we can train the more important document while retrieving. Retrieve Doc ID 2048009 and Doc ID 345002. The last eight match and store in the terms. Finally, we save all the day of them in the text files. It is great if we sort as I mentioned before with I we did now we are explaining okay. It is great if I, we sort the index based on the words for quick and easy retrieval. This all usually needs some specific data structure that simplify your job. We can build for the secondary indexes to improve our the retrieval. There are a lot of issues related to the ranking too. If you have, if you want uh, learn more, if you want to study a lot about the uh, embedded index, go and uh, refer to the book. You will find a lot of examples from the book. Thank you for your watching.